Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olga or Olgi, Olg, Yolgi. I go by many nicknames, so just pick your favorite one. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a type of get ready with me video where I talk about some products that I haven't really used on the channel that much or I just recently picked up and just come up with a look, kind of get to know you guys a little bit better, you guys get to know me a little better, and give you guys a little little bit of a life update, things like that. So let's get on to the video. So first I'm going to start off with my brows and I know I usually don't start off with brows on camera ever, but I have the Glossier Boy Brow that I want to try out on camera um, and see if I can, I can get the brow that I want without having to use a pencil to fill it in because you know I'm very loyal to my Anastasia Brow Wiz. So let's see if we can get something. Okay. I have a lot of sparseness. I don't know if you can, you can probably tell, like it, especially in the beginning of my, my brow, that's where I'm, I'm most sparse. And I feel like it's filling it in a little bit and kind of giving me natural hairs. I got the shade brown. Yeah. I've used the boy brow before. Uh, this video, but I just, I would always use it in conjunction with the Brow Wiz. I wasn't really ever giving it a chance on its own, so now I am. Gaussier is definitely the type of brand that's like very minimalistic, very, basically you have to have near perfect everything for the products to work because it's just gonna, their whole thing is like you but better kind of thing, so. Their things don't have a lot of coverage. I recently went to the Glossier pop-up uh, here in Miami. And that's where I picked up a lot of, a lot of goodies that I wanted to test out. The pop-up was really nice too because I got a chance to, to swatch everything that I that I wanted. So this one has a lot more, this brow has a lot more sparseness in the beginning than the other one does, so I am hoping this one, this can fill that in. I think it did fill in a lot of the brow. Like it's a natural type of brow, so I, I think I'm comfortable with this. We are going for a natural type of glam, so I think I think I am comfortable with this. Next up, I'm using the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. And I've talked about this in a couple videos. And I just really like using this underneath my eyes. Again, I really don't know if this works at all. But I just love the, the sensation, the cooling sensation. It... I lost my mirror. Again, I don't know if this really works. I just really like the cooling sensation that it gives. It's it's kind of like, feels like you're putting water on your face basically, but it's a solid form. It's, it's weird, like it doesn't, it feels wet, but when you touch it, it's not wet. It's very weird and I like that feeling. It's just, it claims it like deep puffs and everything. I, I don't know really, I don't really know if it does that, but. I like the feeling of it, and it, fe it makes my under eyes feel a lot more hydrated. I'm going to put it in my dry patches, actually. So in between my brows, and then like here on my chin. I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I think I want to do a very skin-focused kind of look, but I'll do some eyes. I'll do some eyes. But I'll do some eyes. Next up, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and just putting some pumps on here. Now this one I've been, I've been using a lot pretty recently. 
Uh, it, I've said it before, it reminds me of my J1 jelly pack in, in, in terms of tackiness. And so I think this is definitely going to be a good foundation during the summer when everything's hot and I'm sweating and all that. Speaking of summer, hot, and sweating, I think I should address the elephant in the room. I've, I've moved. I've moved down to Miami and it's been great. A lot of you who, who know me and have have grown up with me and everything you guys know I'm from Jersey originally I was born and raised in Jersey but I've recently moved down to Miami actually and shout out to Maria because she's she's really been great and opened her her home to me and it's it's been wonderful not many people are lucky enough that they get such a smooth transition like like I did and yeah it's it's been great. It's been crazy. I never thought I would be that that person to just kind of be so impulsive, I guess is the word, to make such a big move like that. So it, I'm learning a lot about myself in the process of this move and it's, it's been great. It's been a really good learning experience so far and I'm learning about myself and I feel like I'm really, really starting to get to know myself as a person, as an individual. It's been great. Next up, I'm taking the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am in the shade Warm Vanilla 2WO, or 2W0. I would love this foundation so much more if it had a pump, but nope, I just have to pour it onto my hand like an animal. Although I think I think you can now buy the pump separately but like just just give it to me already with the pump like I don't understand but yeah back to to me moving it's like I said it's been crazy it's been it's been definitely an experience so far uh, I'm excited to see where where this is gonna take me and honestly, it's just so, it's so crazy to think about what, what basically I did. I, in a way, just changed the entire trajectory, the entire path of my life. Like, I just, I went ahead and, and did it and, and changed it. And it's, it's so crazy to think about. That's all it takes. It's just one decision, one move, and that's it. Your, your life is completely different now. So it's, I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Have you guys ever, ever done something like, it doesn't have to be as big as moving or something, but like, it's just a very important decision like that that you just you know that then like your entire life is going to change because of it for concealer i'm taking the glossier stretch concealer and i am in the shade g11 this is one of those little potted concealers so i'm just gonna go ahead and rub my finger in there and start applying it I have been liking this concealer actually. I didn't think I would. There's something from Glossier, however, that is making me break out. Because whenever I do a combination of the three, I get like, and it's not even like pimples. I get like these red bumps and then they go away like the next day that I'm not wearing anything they they go away so I don't know if it's a rash I'm allergic to something I don't know so I'm trying to like eliminate one by one what it is it might be the skin perfector foundation or this concealer 
or the Wouter, which I'll be using in this video. I won't be using the Skin Perfector, obviously. I'll keep you guys updated on which product it ended up being. But so far, I do like this stretch concealer. It is a buildable cover. It is a buildable coverage, which I like. Do I love the fact that I have to apply it with my fingers? No, but it's okay. I'll live. To blend it all out, I'm taking my Morphe E8 brush and just blending it all out. I'm really liking this. I'm really liking this brush recently for for blending out concealer. It's soft, which I didn't think I was gonna like a soft brush for concealer. I thought I was gonna like a more stiffer brush, but no, I do like this one. This concealer is such a dewy concealer. Concealer. I don't know if you guys can tell, but you can see like a lot of shine with this concealer, which I'm not mad about. This is going to be a very natural and kind of glowy look that I'm going to be doing. Natural glam. Okay, I think I like just blend it out. Oh my god, you can see the how dewy my skin looks. I think this is that glass skin that people talk about. Yeah. For powder, I'm taking the Glossier Wouter, and I'm in the shade G11, G12. And I'm taking this on a e.l.f. This is a blush brush, but it's kind of like a, a paddle brush, and you can get really up into your eyes. I do like the packaging of the Wouter. I like that it's like a little sifter there and kind of controls everything you're getting. And I do like the feeling of the Wouter because it mattifies your face without taking away that dewy look. You guys, you guys will see. So yeah, you can see here that the face still has its shine but like I touch it now and it's it's matte it's it's not tacky or anything so that's nice I really do like that aspect of the water that it doesn't it doesn't dim your glow we're gonna go hard with the blush so I'm taking again another Glossier product I'm taking the Glossier cloud paint and this is in the shade dusk and this is one of the things I was most excited about picking up when I went to the Glossier store. Um, I heard so many good things about this cloud paint and you really only need a little bit and it goes a long way. And they're blushes and they're beautiful. They come in a whole bunch of different colors. I picked up a couple. And this one's, this one's one of my favorites, so. I just tap it in with my fingers and just kind of do the whole shebang. I know this is a really kind of, this is a peachy kind of blush, this dust color. And it gives you kind of like a little bit of a sunburnt look, which I really enjoy. I have like a flushy kind of color and the way that I like to do it is tapping it in and you would think because I put powder and now I'm putting a cream product on top of it it would be a whole mess but it actually doesn't look bad at all with the the powder at least I haven't tried it with any other powders but with the powder it works fine so I don't know what kind of witchcraft they're doing. Oh my god, that is blush central. I'm looking at it on camera and I'm bringing it up into the nose area because you know, you guys know how I like that little sunburnt type of look. I have so much freaking blush. I, I, I scored it too much, like I said. So the thing with Glossier is that the 
products are very minimal, very like kind of wash of colors kind of thing. So the most pigmented thing they have are honestly these blushes. And so I forget because everything else is so not pigmented. And so when I try to overcompensate with these, I end up looking like a clown. Oh my God. I look. It's fine. We'll fix this. You know that episode of RuPaul's Drag Race where she goes, girl, look how orange you look. That's, that's me right now. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. Oh my God. I'm trying to fix this up. It looks so sunburnt. And like, that was the look I was going for originally, but not this sunburnt gonna kind of go over it with a little bit of the foundation brush that I had before and just kind of kind of blend it out a little and then with like contour and all that it'll be fine once I put my bronzer on we're gonna be fine guys we're gonna be fine Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That helped out a lot. So, tip for you, the Glossier Cloud Paint is very pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And uh, we learned that today, that even my little was too much. I still have some on me. Just gonna blend it out on my hand. I still haven't refilled my butter bronzer that I ran out of and it's a sad time. So in the meantime, I'm using this bronze booster by Physicians Formula and this is in the shade medium to dark. Just gonna go in and start bronzing it up. I really want some recommendations on some some TV shows, some movies, even music. Let me know what you guys are listening to right now. I listen to a lot of reggaeton, Latin pop, just Latin music in general. So I listen to a lot of Bad Bunny, I listen to a lot of J Balvin, I listen to Maluma, um, Anuel, Carl G, like I listen to everyone. Basically, if it's on the Latin top hits, I've, I've listened to. But I've also, I think I'm getting into K-pop. I still don't understand the whole thing about BTS. I, I really, I have been trying and I do like that song, Boy With Love. And like, I do like some of their songs. It's just, it stresses me out. There's so many members, there's seven members and I have a hard limit at five. Even when there's five members, I still somehow forget about one of them at least, that they exist. So hard limit at five, if there's four, even better, three, like the Jones Brothers were just three and they were great. And like, I'm just a fan of boy bands in general. So that's why I was like, I wanna get into this whole K-pop thing. Cause like, I, I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for you. I'm a sucker for a good boy band. So I've been, I've been trying to get into to the boy band. So if you know any other K-pop bands, let me know about them. I listen to Blackpink, the girl band, and I stand 100%. I get it. Should I go natural with the highlight or should I go bam? I'm gonna go with my Armreezy highlight. You guys know how I love that. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Armreezy highlight and my Trusty Dusty Y14 brush by Morphe and highlight the shiz out of this face. I saw a tutorial by Nikki Tutorials where she said that if you like kind of bring it from the like corner of the mouth inward with the highlight and like kind of lightly um, with a light hand grabbing the highlight um, doing this you kind of create that kind of glass skin effect without like doing all the 
the moisturizing and stuff and like obviously I moisturize too but if I can help my skin look even more dewy as possible oh that is nice I'll do it okay I think oh look at boom I love that I live for that so for eyes, I'm going to do something pretty simple, but still a little something something. I'm going to take my Lorac uh, Pro, Mega 3 Pro palette. I've had this palette for so long. So with just a regular fluffy blending brush, I'm going to dip into this shade right here called Pecan, which is like a nude, a tan nude color. I'm just going to start buffing that into the crease. With an even smaller blending brush, I'm taking this shade right here called Eggplant. And I'm taking this one right here on the outer V. And we're gonna kind of bring it onto the lash line a little. Kind of like, you know, smooth it out a little. I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going into this shade right here called Pink Cream. And I'm just placing that on my lid. Now with a smaller dome brush, I'm just gonna go back into that dusty mauve color and brush it underneath my lash line. And take that same brush and dip it back into eggplant and just deepen out the outer. the outer half. So I'm gonna pop on some falsies and then I'll be right back. Okay, so to finish up this look right here, I'm just gonna pop on, pop on some lipstick. I'm going with the Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Rosebud. I think it complements the eyes really well. It kind of coordinates with them. Alright, so that completes this look, guys. I hope you guys like it. Uh, this lip color is a little different than what I usually wear, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit, and that's what this whole Get Ready With Me was about, was stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and telling you guys about how I stepped out of my comfort zone, too, and in terms of my life, too. So we're just going full circle here. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you like these type of get ready with me style videos. It gives us a nice time to chat. Let me know down below what other things you want to see from me. I really, really would love some suggestions too because I do want to make good content for you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see as well. Um, it can be anything from I want to see you try this brand or anything. Like just let me know. Uh, what you guys want to see from me in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. And with that, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!